You know, dreams can uh, dreams can become reality in a city. Nobody that's telling you what you can and what you can't do, and there's an endless amount of opportunity. Uh, I had the girls, I had the, the parties, I had the friends. And like with everything else, like working in fashion, you, you wear a pair of jeans for like a week or something like that. It's all consumables and I was in this fast-paced lifestyle that was kind of <laughs> eating everything that I got close to. Whenever I was on my own, everything would kind of stop and everything would hit me. I didn't know what I did. The weekend, if I'd done something stupid or what I'd done to people, like an open gaping hole inside of my heart that was just like really like tense and I didn't care about anything anymore because I was hurting so badly. This one day, I, all of this met me at the same time. And then I found myself in the train station. There was nothing left. And just thought cropped into my mind. I was like, I don't think anybody actually will care if I would jump now. Walked over to where the trains were and uh, I was contemplating and getting ready to uh, finish it all and end it. And in that moment, I felt my phone vibrating. I saw it was my mum. And uh, two hours later, I was on on a plane to England. When I uh, when I came back to my parents, I knew what to expect. My mum and dad had a faith, and they believed in God, and they were gonna try to convince me of this thing. I thought, you know, I'll just go there, get some money together, and then I'll go straight back to the city. One night. I couldn't fall asleep, I was just rolling around in my bed and in an instant I felt God come into, come into my room. I know, I know it's, it's a bit of a strange thing to say but I was so sure, I've never been so sure about anything in my life that uh, it was God that came into my room and asked, you know, come on boy, it's now or never like a strict dad would. I was still fighting that thing, and I said, you know what, I don't care, mate, what you ever say. I'm not coming back, I don't want to do this. And uh, he asked me a question, he said, so what have you got? I said, you know what? If you can take this little thing that I've got, that's called Isaac's life, if you can make something out of it, because I can't, then uh, and I'll give you everything because I don't know how, how this works. I can't do it anymore by myself. And it was in that moment that I felt that I was no longer alone and he said, okay. And I had hope to meet my problems, meet the things that I'd messed up. And that makes me be able to wake up in the morning and fight another thing fight things from my past that I could never look in the eye. Look at fear that I was so afraid of. I have never ever been this happy. He's like that perfect father that none of us ever had. He's right there with you. And he will never let go of you. 